everyone. Oh, hi. How was your week? Well, a little, a little uh, on edge today. Uh, my my oh, daughter lives a club. few weeks from where all the action is going on in Cambridge. Oh dear, a few few blocks away. So it's a little. They've a little not gotten yet. Uh, not yet. Well, at least they haven't said so. Um, so, uh, let's see, we have an agenda. Let me, f I've got too many windows open here. This is one of the laws of nature. If you, no matter how much screen space you have, there's never enough. I agree with that. Okay, well, let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. See what we can what we can accomplish here. Um, go through our our regular updates first. Uh, server side appearance. Uh, those of you watching the channels will have noticed that there was a new viewer beta build yesterday uh, that is in the process of being deployed, uh, even as we speak. Uh, may or may not actually have been done, but it has been authorized to be done. So that's on its way out. And the belief and plan is that that's the last beta for for that set. So unless something that we don't know about yet turns up that's pretty serious, um, it is uh, pretty likely that sometime around the middle of next week, that will go to the release channel. Uh, there will probably then be a couple of, th there will be some rounds of testing. I, I'm not really prepared to predict how long that will be. I, I would be willing to guess, I would be willing to, to say that it's almost certainly going to be at least a week. Um, it could be as much as a few weeks before we decide to turn on uh, server-side baking on the grid as a whole. Um, so uh, it is not imminent, but it's getting to the point where it's now real soon now. Um, so if you haven't got a version that supports server-side baking yet, you're getting to be pretty late in the game. Uh, well, we've just put out one into our preview group. Uh, it's going very well, except that we discovered one blocker about an hour ago. Um, that's been fixed. We're compiling. We'll have another build out to the preview group probably tonight, and we hope to be able to release Sunday night or Monday. Cool. So um, that's great news, and I hope that other teams are uh, are being equally aggressive about moving forward. I, I think they may be waiting for us. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh. Yeah, well, they can certainly, you know, uh, it, it's understandable that they, they would believe they were safe as long as you weren't out there. But um, since I don't think we'll flip the grid until there's a, a Firestorm version available um, and and uh, a number of other viewers as well that, uh, that I'd very much like to be able to support, um, the further down on the popularity list you are, the harder it will be for me to defend that we should wait for you. So... Um, don't any please don't anybody uh, 
don't anybody gamble on that. Um, I would hate for people to lose their users because of something like this. Um, so uh, anyway, that's what I know. That's the that's the most detail I can offer you so far on um, the timing of those things. Uh, and uh, so you're thinking maybe middle of May ish. Uh, I, I wouldn't even be that specific. I'd say there's a window that opens, um, you know, a window for the possibility of the switch being thrown uh, anywhere between two and six or eight weeks from now. Um, but um, if I had to guess, I would say it was probably not going to be towards the outside of that window. But, you know, figure a bell curve in there somewhere. But, um, you know, the thing about bell curves is that sometimes the things out on the ends of the bell curve do happen, and it could be either one. So let's, let's uh, all try to be on top of it. We're, we're uh, so far, you know, I think that uh, the community has been doing a great job getting on top of this, uh, and I, um, I'm hoping that we can. <laughs> I, I'm hoping that we can, uh, we can, end up two months from now citing this as an example of uh, the third-party viewers and Linden Lab actually managing to coordinate a difficult rollout successfully. That would be nice. Uh, so. Um, have you guys talked any more or just made any decisions yet on how you're going to roll it out to the grid? Other than very carefully? <laughs> uh, I, I have heard only minimal discussion of that, not because that discussion hasn't happened, but because I haven't been um, in on it. Most of the discussion I've heard so far has been how they'll do some careful testing on a very carefully selected and, and constrained set of regions on Agni um, before uh, before throwing the switch generally all over. I don't know whether it will go through the normal um, the, the the sort of normal RC, RC process channels. because it's it's not actually a uh, it's not actually a server software change, it's a configuration change. So they don't need to deploy it through the RC progression. So all they have to do is say, yes, throw the switch. And we can actually do that um, quite quickly across can you do that with whatever set doing, of regions we want to. Without doing restarts? Or do the regions need to be rolled? We don't know whether that particular switch. Some some switches do require restarts, and some don't. And I have no idea whether which category this is. Yeah, that's why I was wondering because um, I mean, in the event that it turns out the first time around to be a disaster, and and that's just because who knows how it's going to turn out, right? How easy it will it be for you guys to roll it back? Right. Well, the the uh, um, that answering those questions is going to be the purpose of the of the. Uh, of the very careful testing I mentioned before. So, um, and uh, if there's stuff I can share with you about how to participate in that testing, I will try to find that out. And if, if there's something I can do to, to, to help, help with that, uh, then I'll let you know. Um, right now, I, I'm not aware of, of a way to do that. So, um, so that's pretty much what I know about that at this point. I think. So server side HTTP, I think we can actually take that off our list since as most of you probably already know, it rolled to the to the grid already. Um, it is now the default everywhere on Agni and seems to be working as far as we can tell. So that's that's all a really good thing. Uh, I'm going to skip over materials for just a minute. 
we'll come back to it. Um, FMOD EX and Vivox upgrade um, is in viewer development now. Uh, Latif sent me a, uh, a, a further fix that's being looked at as we speak. Yes, thank you. Uh, very you much are appreciated. You're going to use that, I presume? I, I think we're going to, we're, we're going to address the question. I, I actually am not, have, I've been, had a really busy morning and I haven't followed um, the details of how, uh, but I know that um, somebody's pushing something to a repository I'm going to be told to merge. So um, I will have checked that before I do that merge. Uh, but, um, but yeah, we're going to, we're going to use it in some form. So that's, that's in progress even as we speak. Uh, a, f a fine example of anticipating a problem before it ever gets out to any significant number of users. We all get can pat ourselves on the back for that. And thank you very much, Latif. Yeah, this has been in Singularity for some time now. So there were a lot of reports about the music streaming not really working well. So <clears throat> this particular fix was uh, applied after you have uh, merged according to the development. So that fixes most of the problems. That's great. That's great. So thank you very much for being proactive about, about that. Um, what other, Latif, do you, do you guys have, um, what other issues do you have with that? Because we're, we're obviously we're going to um, pick that up with our next release. And, yeah, um, and there are some issues with the streams that play an intro, you know, you know, some radio stations have like 30 second intro and then they start uh, streaming. Oh, yeah. That has, yeah. Been, that, that has been fixed with this. So there is really no remaining issues uh, after after this patch is applied. Okay, good. Thank you. That's great news. Um, so um, that's uh, that's all coming. Um, it's It's in the pipe. And if the... If the if the server side baking viewer gets out of the way on the schedule I described, um, this set of changes and a few other things that will probably come in between now and then uh, will appear uh, in in a beta version either towards the middle to the end of next week or possibly the beginning of the week after, depending on you know we don't want to do the release too close to the weekend. Uh, oh, yes, actually, um, uh, it turns out that uh, it, my understanding is that the, the creation of an easily packaged FMOD EX build is, is not, you know, build script the way we did for FMOD um, was turned out not to be as easy as FMOD. So um, getting some Okay, getting some good uh, documentation on the wiki and some and some help for people would be an enormous um, help. Uh, I, w I would like to be able to say that you know we'll we'll try to get you a pre-build that you could use, but um, frankly, that's not all that likely. And we'd have to get the lawyers involved and all that. It doesn't doesn't seem like it's going to happen. So, um, so that's that. Uh, I have not gotten it. Whatever you can do to help would be most appreciated. And I'd love to see documentation on the wiki for people to, to follow and, and or scripts and so forth. Um, uh, the, um, you'll be you'll be you, you may be interested to know that we we actually have a we, we have a new hire at at Linden who who I won't out just yet but uh, who actually really knows and understands how to use CMake so it would not surprise me if our CMake files got torn apart and put back together better. Um, Does this person do fly by night by chance? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, and, but uh, they're 
you're gung ho to get started, which is great. So, uh, um, look forward to build system improvements as we as we go forward. Um, which you may or may not welcome, just because whether they're improvements or not, they will be changes. So that yeah, I know that's a pain. Um, group bands, I don't have an update on. Uh, I apologize for that, but. Uh, like I said, it's been a little crazy, and I, I just didn't get around to bugging Baker about it. Um, but uh, I'm sure Baker's out there making progress. I'm sure we can forgive you this week, Oz. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that brings us to materials, which uh, I, I have been getting uh, help from a bunch of people, including some of you, for doing testing of the materials project viewer uh, which I very much appreciate most especially because uh, I know it hasn't been an easy thing to test it's been a bit on the flaky side um, I'm running it now though um, and uh, we think we're pretty close to being frozen on the shader changes um, and uh, and, and the, the rendering pipeline side, there's still a fair number of UI issues to work out and some server back and forth issues to work out. Um, yeah, the, the material, the UI is still pretty buggy. We, we have, because of the way our testing works, <clears throat> we, wanted, we wanted to get the rendering system. And besides, if, if it's not rendering well, then you can't really tell whether the UI is doing the right thing. Uh, so we've been prioritizing the rendering side of things rather than the UI side of things. Um, and uh, But we expect to be essentially done with that modulo, whatever comes out of our QA processes uh, very, very soon, um, maybe as early as today. Um, and, uh, and, and then we can get back to solving some of the problems with, with uh, the, pers the consistency of the UI and getting the updates to happen smoothly and so forth. We're, but we're, we're, we know what the solutions are. We, we, we think we know what the solutions are. We just haven't gotten to them yet. So who, who is, who is doing uh, server side changes on, on this material thing? Right now there aren't any. Um, um, I saw your bug report um, and uh, it, and I, and I went over that with the server side folks um the fact that that UUID is declared as a binary sequence was actually deliberate. I'm not sure I understood why, but it was on purpose. Um, and the spelling error, if if it turns out that's true, may just end up being something we have to live with. Um, yeah, I, I, I cannot see it anymore. I don't know how it, it got into my my dump there, but um, oh good. I, I I I was talking to some uh, people in in OpenSIM who were doing this, and they have discovered the possible race condition in their code. And I have observed something very very similar on 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 the Second Life uh, simulators uh, using this. So I just want to you know summarize the problem and send it to them, and maybe somebody can look if it's happening in the in the in the in the code of uh, the Linden uh, simulator as well. Uh, OK, well, send it to me, and I'll, uh, the, the people who wrote the server side stuff have moved on to, originally, have mostly moved on to another project that I can't talk about. Um, but of course, we can get them to, uh, to engage it, long enough to diagnose something. Yeah, but the thing is, in, in, in summary, you, you, you are setting a diffuse texture using the old UDP code that changes textures on the face of the prim, and the rest of the materials is set via capability, and the simulator seems to be very sensitive in which order those two messages come from. So if UDP comes after the capability, the, the setting of the material is erased. So maybe I'll just describe it, and if somebody in simulate who knows that code can look uh, at the interaction between those two messages, if if it could be problematic. Yeah, yeah, that that would be great. That that, um, and it should be relatively easy to test for that if if that's 
if I understood the, the problem description correctly. So thank you. That would be good. Um, we're hoping that we won't have to roll out any server changes to deploy materials because we'd rather be able to do it sooner and than later. But um, but if we have to, we have to. Uh, so uh, it it may be that we'll try to find a workaround that only involves viewer changes. But um, but of course you never know. So um, and I think uh, if I'm not mistaken, is. Yeah, Geens, you had some comments to share with people about some of the gamma correction code that's in the materials branch. Yeah, so um, as I'm sure many of you know, in Exodus we do have gamma correction in the viewer for uh, a bit over a year now. Um, I don't know who's actually merged it or anything like that. I do know maybe a couple of you have. And uh, just a heads up, if you have this, you will want to remove it before merging materials. In materials, we do have gamma correction within the viewer. It is always enabled anytime you, anytime you have deferred rendering enabled. Um, and oh, well, I think we lost silly you. headset. Well, yeah, no, briefly this headset's there. A, yeah, this little, this headset's a little bit buggy at times. If you have Exodus's gamma correction merged in, you will want to remove it. Um, it will conflict. It will not work very well um, whenever you actually try to merge materials. So just a heads up to anyone who's merged it, now would be a good time to start removing it. I think the only thing we've ever uh, used from you guys was actually in this release, which is the vignetting feature. So we actually haven't pulled anything from you other than that. So um, I I actually uh, you know just in general that that's a good that's a good cautionary note and should help you with planning. Yeah, thank you. How to how to do things about about merging. Um, it I still do not recommend that you pull materials anywhere at this point. Um, we're uh, I think there are still there's still the possibility of enough changes that you're just going to be making headaches for yourself. Um, I, I don't think that will be true for very much longer, um, and and I th I think we'll pretty soon be at the point where uh, I'll be more than happy to say, go ahead, let's all have materials test viewers, um, and and uh, you know and begin the process of getting this into everybody's release pipelines. Um, but I, I, I confess to being a little conservative in this regard. But if it was me, I wouldn't be pulling it yet, knowing what I know about about where it is. So uh, uh, certainly, well, right, you should not be releasing it. Right now, we're at. I'm expect we're trying to get this release out, and I'm anticipating that um, there will be enough in the pipeline, i.e., materials, and probably server side baking. Uh, viewer side code um, from after the rollout that in a month from now we're going to have to do another release. So that's what we're sort of planning and I guess that's going to depend on how things roll out. Good. Uh, let's see. What else did we have on our list? Um, anything? No, I think that's pretty much it. So that's that's the that's the agenda right now. Floor is open for other issues. Um, I have nothing offhand. Oh, yeah, thank you, Alaric. Good point. Uh, Oz, where is that blog post? Sorry, which blog post? The blog post we asked you guys about at the last third party, view, third party viewer meeting if, if Lynn and Lab was going to have a blog post. 
that third-party viewers can point to to say, look, we're not making it up. Linen Lab is really pushing this thing that's going to change everything, and everybody needs to upgrade their viewers. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, that's a good question. I, I will have to... <laughs> At the time, uh, I believe, I think it was Nick said that it was being written, like it was in the progress. Yeah, I, I, I remember seeing a draft. Um, I, I imagine that they're holding off. What I would expect to see is that that will go, that would go up when we push things to, when, our, when we push ours to the release channel. That would be the normal way for us to do that. Is we 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 tend we so we could people who govern our blog week-ish. postings don't want to blog about things that are in beta basically. So next weekish. So uh, yeah, if 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 I'm right about that, then next weekish, and and certainly it shouldn't be any later than that. Um, okay. So uh, I will. Uh, I am I am typing myself a note to check on that. And Latif brings up a good point. Uh, any news on the um, interest list stuff? Uh, only that they're still working on it, um, but are not ready to, they are not confident enough to share. I haven't heard any details on that lately. A couple of other new projects in the wings that I'm not allowed to talk to you about yet, but I will be pretty soon. So keep this meeting on your calendars. Jeez. Yeah. Well, you know, I got to do something to take up the time, right? <laughs> Besides, I can say stuff like that, and there's no way you guys can check me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hmm. I did come up with another thought for you, though, Oz. A, a thing that might make Linden Lab a little more popular with the average user. And that's bringing back something that you used to do when uh, something goes up on the grid status page, post a notice to the residents. In an in-world notice? Yeah. Yeah, I don't even think we have the ability to do that anymore, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll bet you that would uh, be something that the users would actually thank you for. You mean the God notify? Well, just whenever there was a grid, the, the grid status notices that we used to get. Yeah, it was a God notify. It went out yeah. to the whole grid. They used to be used for, um, we'll be shutting down the grid now to re- reboot everything. Every week there was an update, they had to turn Second Life off in order to do that. Just trying to think of things that could uh, make the users happier with Linden Lab, mm-hmm. considering you're, uh, what might happen. Mm-hmm. Shut up, it. <laughs> yeah. I, I fully anticipate the server side flip of the switch for server side baking isn't going to go perfectly smooth. <laughs> and I think that would be understandable. I mean, if you guys manage to pull that off the first time, that's, you know, that's incredible. Would be something, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Yeah, <laughs> but I think it's pretty much I, not even. It shouldn't even be expected to go off without a hitch the first time. Well, sorry. Well, in it, some it, sense, it's definitely not going to go off without a hitch, and 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 we know that, right? In well, that, certainly, in a lot that of there are going to be, be a subst- yeah. Uh, there are the there are approximately um, seventeen hundred different viewer versions on the grid um, right now. Uh, 
Okay. So, uh, you know, some of them are ours, some of them are yours. I mean, it, it, you know, there, there are, there are 300 and some different version strings that begin with Firestorm. Um, <laughs> okay. Now, obviously, you you haven't released that many, so not all of those are released versions. Stuff but all of them are versions that somebody built and some number of people are using um, and are As in more than on one day. on each one? Uh, well, I... I I don't generally look at the details. I, I have a script that kind of rolls it all up that uses some heuristics to combine all the stats into into one line so that I can sort of see at a at a very high level uh what the what the breakdown of viewer share is from from day to day. Um well actually I only do it week to week. Uh, I do it at the same time I do the stats I send out to you guys. Um and uh uh it it there are and and I don't know. It's north of seventeen hundred different viewer version strings out there uh, right now. So now a very very large percentage. Not ninety percent of users are in the top, you know, twelve or something like that um, entries on that list. Uh, you know, in in the top twelve families of version strings. So so there's this very long tail. But there's there's a you know it's. It's essentially guaranteed. There are people out there, for example, still running the first Windlight region project viewer. Um, there are, as of a few weeks ago, there were still some people, I, I haven't looked in the latest reports, but as of a few weeks ago, there were still some people running the um, Second Life First Look voice viewer. So, I don't know, how long ago was that? Five years, something like that? I don't know. Eight. Six. Way, way before my time. Um, it, there are still people running various flavors of, of our version one. There are, uh, there are still people running Snow Globe. There are still people running, um, you know, a, any number of unmaintained viewers. There's nothing we can do to help those people. It's essentially, we already know that most people don't, read blog posts. Um, so they won't, it's, it's very likely that, that despite any efforts that you or we make, there will be a lot of people, um, given that we have, you know, a million users a month, something like that. Uh, there are going to, you know, even a, even if it's a very small fraction, it can still be a very large number of people have in absolute terms who will have had no warning whatsoever. And, They'll log in and everybody will be gray, including themselves. Um, and that's, there's, you know, we've, we can try as hard as we want to to prevent that, but it's going to be true anyway, and we just have to live with it. Uh, well, we've got somewhere, last I looked, it's last week, I think we're still close to 100,000 users on Phoenix. And I bet a lot of them have no idea that this is coming. Yeah, well, right, exactly. Um, so... We'll see. Uh, you know, I'm, we're, we're going to do whatever it is we can think of to do. Um, but uh, it's it's not uncommon for people to not log into Second Life for six months and then come back. That we see that all the time. Um, so those people, there's no reason to expect that they've gotten word, right? So um, or will. So it's gonna it's gonna happen. Uh, and and. On some level, there's not a whole lot we can do about it. So we're going to do the best we can, and we're going to live with the fact that in order to make things better, we're going to have to go through a, a period in which some number of people are going to be distressed. Uh, and we'll just try to make that as short and painless as a period of distress as possible. Uh, well, from a support perspective, um uh, I'll, I'll consider it a success if the number of bake fails drops is greater than the number of new complaints we get about having to update. Well, I think the I I think that depends on when you take those two samples, right? Um, so I'm sure that we're all going to see a huge spike in the complaints. I think that's pretty much a given. Uh, yep. The question is, what will happen 
a month after the switch is thrown and what will be the incidence of, of bake fail at that point um, when most people have switched. Yeah, you change something and people are going to scream. Uh, how successful your change is uh, can be gauged by how long they continue screaming. Oh, that's 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 one very interesting met metric. Uh, Kata, hush thy mouth, thy evil child. That's all we need is a new type of bake fail. Well, the 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 new system, you know, nothing is ever perfect, and and not I'm not claiming that we will we will never see another incidence of bake fail. That would be a that would be a pretty ridiculous claim to to make. Um, it is easily demonstrable if you can see all of the moving parts that uh, there are fewer opportunities for failure in the new architecture than there were in the old one. So, a lot fewer. So, uh, we'll see. Yeah. I, 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 I am optimistic um, that, that it will be a, a significant net improvement. Other topics? Well, it, topics? If I read it right, um, it should also cause less network lag, shouldn't it? There's less network communication. Well, a lot less. Method. A lot less. Yeah, yeah, uh, because we don't have to ship all the individual textures at all the individual um, levels of detail up to the viewer to be baked together and then shipped back and then um, and then have you upload them again in the the very same textures that you downloaded get uploaded back again. So it's. Um, there's enormously, enormously less data has to be moved back and forth. I'm just wondering if there'll be some side benefits from it uh, for some of the other issues that we see that seem to be network related. That's all. Well, I think I'm, opt I think I'm optimistic yeah. too. Another way of characterizing it is that is that because baking one of the other sets of failure mechanisms are that because bakes were created on individual systems there were a variety of ways in which a bake you created on your system wouldn't display correctly on my system because there's something idiosyncratic about the way each of us is handling image data or your GPU or or how we're getting data back and forth into and out of your GPU and so forth. There were, there were a whole bunch of failure modes associated with that. And um, KDU versus OpenJPEG is just, is just one level, right, exactly. Uh, what what we'll have, what I think we'll have in the future is that uh, with the server side failures, because all of the bakes will be being done in the same way on the same systems, they will at least all be more uniform, right? So they may, in some cases, I, I, I mean I don't know of any instances if this is true, but it may be true that um, some individual item of clothing or whatever doesn't get baked as well as it could on some particular system and configuration and software, um, but at least everybody will be getting the same suboptimal bake, right? So um, we will have a, a more uniformly shared experience, which, as you know, I think that has value. Also, hopefully, any bug fix uh, in the central system will propagate to everybody at once instead of uh, depending on yes. the viewer update. And hopefully we'll be able to do those relatively quickly and easily uh, as compared to rolling out to all the different viewers that are out there and all the different versions of all those different viewers, all the different installations of all those different in viewers, uh, et cetera. Uh, yes, we will have, we will have bug for bug compatibility. Um, So, um, coming soon, so if you're not on it now. Anything else before we're, we can maybe wrap a little early today? 
sounds like an early Friday. Oh. Early Fridays are good. Uh, I'd say we don't try to work up anything, but uh, if we don't have anything, you can have the rest of the afternoon off. You heard it here first. Okay, we're done. Have a good weekend. Huh. Have a good one, us.